This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Real risky business, Jim Cornette. Tournament ain't too far away, and everybody's talking about tournaments. And speaking of which, I saw Dale Brown here last week. With all respects to him, but Denny Crum is going to lead the Louisville Cardinals all the way this year, right straight to the top. They're going to win that tournament. Then there's going to be three sports legends from Louisville, Kentucky: Muhammad Ali, Denny Crum, and the Louisville Cardinals, and Jim Cornette. Because I'm leading the Midnight Express to the top of the tournament for the Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup. And you know to do that, Tony. We got the Road Warriors in our bracket. That means if we win some of our matches, they win some of our of their matches. Then eventually we're going to meet the Road Warriors. We are the two premier teams in that bracket. And Road Warriors, I heard you got a little upset when I said that you flunked out of sixth grade eight times. Well, let me rectify that. They did have one major academic achievement when they graduated third grade. They were so excited they could hardly shave without cutting themselves. Road Warriors, you're dim, brother. You're brain dead, and we are going to outsmart you and outsneak you and go right straight to the finals and end for once. Rock and roll, rock and roll. I'm going to wish the Rock and Roll Express all the luck in the world because I want you to win every single match in that tournament, Rock and Roll. I want you to outlast all the competition in that other bracket, and I want you to get to the finals where you're going to face the Midnight Express and be humiliated and have the biggest prize in wrestling snatched right out from under you just like the rug. A million dollars and that cup and rock and roll I know you want to go into that tournament as the world tag team champions and we're facing them Tony like the fighting champions that we are several times before then the rock and roll you're never going to see those belts you're never going to see that million you're never going to see that cup and you are never going to beat the greatest team in professional wrestling lover boy Dennis and beautiful Bobby the Midnight Express how much of that stuff do you think he would write down ahead of time in practice and and I'm not by the way I'm not knocking it I think it's awesome I, one of the things I've really never gotten about wrestling is it's like uh, amongst a lot of the people in the profession and fans it's like if you don't just if it doesn't just randomly fall out of your mouth oh we hate scripted promos mm-hmm. oh, I hate bad promos mm-hmm. if it's good scripting I like it so I, I don't care if it's scripted I care if it's good and I feel like those same people who say, Oh, I I miss when promos weren't scripted and it could be like, you know, like what the rock did everything. The rock ever said was scripted. Yeah. So that's not a fair comparison. And so when I see Jim Cornette do that, it's like, man, that's so good that he had to work on that and practice it. And I don't think as you know, it's also, this is a weird industry where if you care about it, you're a mark. You know, like, I don't, yeah. I think that's dumb. Like, look at him over here working hard to make sure he does the best job he can. What a fucking goof. No, that's, not, that's stupid, man. I mean, yeah. we put forth a lot of effort into this show and, and that's the reason it's successful. And there's a lot of other podcasts that aren't, and it's because they think, you know, effort is lame. No, yeah. Well, well, those people should have their head put in a toilet with a bunch of turds and flushed a couple of times. Okay. That's what they should do. And as a matter of fact, I would like a list of those names. I would be willing on my expense to fly to their house, shit in their toilet, put their head in it, flush it, and then walk out and leave. You're going to shit too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, that's what I feel about that. Scripting, I think scripting works. I'm sure Jim Cornette thought about that. I don't know if he wrote it down. It may have been in his book. I, you know, I read parts of it. I didn't read the whole book that he, that he wrote things down. And, but some guys were just, you know, we go back and we look at, man, those guys were talented. They could talk. Dusty could talk. Rick could talk. Here's an, here's something that I had learned. And then I learned this. I'm trying to, and maybe it's not true. Maybe I, I learned this in MLW and I'm not going to say who told me this. It was one of the kids backstage. I don't know how they fucking knew. But they said, you know, the Ricky Steamboat Macho Man wonderful match from WrestleMania 3? It was written for Paige. Yeah. Yeah, so you've heard that too. Yeah, well, Steamboat's talked about it, and he yeah. made Savage for it, and then it became the most famous match that Steamboat ever had. So Right, So and, and they worked part of it, right, when they uh, when they would go to the house shows. They worked through some of the spots. So, yeah. so not everything is off the cuff in wrestling. Right. Uh, but I'm proud to say the stuff that David and I did were off the cuff was off the cuff back then. Sure. 
uh, because that's the way it was. I mean, we, we, they, they, and I, and that's one thing I, one of the things that I look back on fondly, but also one of the things that I remember at the time I was really excited about was, Hey, these guys trust me. Right. I, that's, that means a lot. Yeah, it does. And that's, uh, that's kind of what I'm getting now on AEW. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.